<sighs> Who are you? I'm you from the future. Oh, hi. Don't throw away that table. You could fix it with 3D printing. Wait, I could save it, it'll work? Boy, howdy. Awesome. Thank you. Time travel makes me hungry. There you are, welcome back. In this studio, because we deal with 3D printers, we need a moderate amount of flat surfaces. This is a free table. My wife found this and brought it to the studio because it is a large flat surface. Unfortunately, it droops in the middle. Whoever had it before us must have had lots of large Thanksgiving turkeys because it droops in the middle and that's not good for 3D printers because we want a nice flat surface. And right now, I'm holding it up with clamps. Is this a problem that 3D printing can solve? I think so. You probably wanna see just how much this table is dipping in the middle. I'm gonna remove the clamp and you should see it move. It moved. But really, to visualize it best, what I'm gonna do is put a level across and a light behind it so you can actually see how much of a dip we're dealing with. Now, why wouldn't I go to the hardware store and just get a metal bracket for this? That is easily explained because 3D printing is a lot of fun. Plus, you get to practice your CAD and design skills and take something digital, customize it, and then bring it to real life here in meat space. And that's what we're doing here. Spin move. We're now in the garage and we need to grab some things we need. And the first thing are brackets, the ones that I designed. And here they are, they're ready. Let's take them out. Let's go. This is carbon fiber nylon and this Chidi XCF Pro is in for review. And it actually comes default from the factory configured for CF nylon. And the prints off it are gorgeous. I've actually almost burned through the roll they sent. And I have some Matter Hackers Nylon X as well that I've added to the machine in order to print with it. And it does a great job. In fact, lightsaber. This machine's on Amazon for about two grand and it's in for review, like I said. I'll put a link down below if you wanna get more information on it, but stay tuned because you will see a review here on the show real, real soon. I've got the brackets. Now I need my impact driver. I need some one and a quarter inch screws and I need two two by fours cut to 54 and three quarters inches length. Here they are. Oh, it's a lot of screws. Let's go get it installed. As you can see, there is a print running on the G-Max behind me, and I don't wanna stop it. So what we're gonna do is something commonly referred in the software world as fixing it in production. This is when something needs to get added, fixed, or changed in a production environment without taking it down. And it's a risky thing, and we're gonna do it. For my lumber, I'm putting an eye down the length because I want to verify it's as straight as can be. But don't worry, sometimes your lumber might have a little bit of a bend to it. Lumber with a little bit of a bend is still fully usable and it'll work just fine. Four brackets are in, two pieces of two by four are in. There's, uh, let's see, four times, 16 screws are in. Let's have a look. Good gravy, that works. I would say that's much better. Now we've hit the end and there are some thoughts I want to convey. First and foremost, I am in no way an expert at CAD design and these were whipped up rather quickly in Fusion 360. There's going to be dozens of different ways to do this with those dozens of different ways better. And obviously I challenge you to do that. And if I come across a design that you tag me in, Maybe I'll swap it out here. But for now, I think these are working really, really well. I know that I could have used PLA or ABS to do this, and you could as well, but I did have carbon fiber nylon available to me because of that Chidi XCF Pro 3D printer and the Nylon X I had left over from years ago. So I wanted to use the best material possible and I thought the carbon fiber nylon would be it because the nylon gives us strength and the carbon fiber bits give us stiffness. Now, there is one more test to do with this 3D printer stand that was once a kitchen table somewhere. 
But for that, I'm gonna need to stand on it. And to do that, we do have to wait for this print to finish. So we'll see you in a little bit. Tomorrow. Look at that, it's the next day. The print is done. Look at Shifty the Crystal Dragon here and the table is ready for the full Joel. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put my Lucky Dragon here and I'm gonna get on the table. <laughs> it works! Wait. No cracking? Everything's working? Oh, I'm so happy about this. This is amazing. It's working. Something I made is working. Oh, you know what I should do? I know. So I was a little bit worried about this at first, but really I had nothing to worry about. I should go back in time and tell my previous self that this is gonna work out just fine. I have an idea. Geronimo. 